24 hours since the National Hockey League ended their trade deadline. Or did they? What does that mean? If Jenny Dandenov oh. was traded, what we think was prior to the trade deadline yeah. at 3 p.m. Eastern yesterday to Anaheim in return... Vegas took on Ryan Kessler and John Moore. Kessler, of course, is retired, but they get to uh, eat the rest of his remaining contract that they can easily push off to the side, therefore alleviating Vegas of $5 million bucks on Dandenov. But now the NHL is rev- uh, reviewing that contract on whether or not Dandenov had Anaheim on a no-trade List. Hmm. And now everybody's playing stupid. <laughs> I guess. Maybe everyone was stupid. What what happened here, Kipper? What happened was Dandenov had a 10 team no trade list. Okay. And Anaheim was on the list. And that was with Ottawa. And that was with Ottawa. And he got the list in. Everything's great. And Anaheim uh, and Vegas still got together and pushed a trade through with Anaheim on that list. Now, you tell me how the NHL can do anything except void this this trade. Well, uh you know, so, so it sounds like he he had the no trade officially. They properly fired, filed that paperwork, him and his agent. Uh, Ottawa knew about it and maybe didn't send the contract over to Vegas. Like Vegas didn't know about the no trade list and that it was still valid. So when Vegas traded them, they were doing the right thing. They They thought they were operating on the up and up. And this is maybe not on Vegas, partially on Ottawa. But you're right. How do you send a player there who had the team on his, which yeah. by the way would bone Vegas? I I, I, you're, you're, you're starting to hear reports that, uh, you know, they need to talk to Ottawa. They need to investigate Ottawa. This is... In my a, mind, Ottawa staffs like three people and most are interns. Regardless if they have three or 300, this is not on Ottawa. No. No. Okay. You sell a house, yeah, and the owner wants to come back six months later and say, hey, the roof leaks. What are you going to say to him? <laughs> Beat it. Beat it. <laughs> Scram. <laughs> right. And that's what the Ottawa Senators right now should be telling the NHL, Anaheim, and Vegas. Scram. I tr- we traded you, him, in the contract, in a standard player's contract. Mm-hmm. It is crystal clear. No move, no trade, modified no trade. What's he got? We need to know. Okay, it's there. Right. So when you traded for the when you traded the player, it is upon you to see that in the deal. Mm-hmm. The problem is, is it only says no move, no trade, or modified, and it doesn't come with the list. The yeah. list stays within the clubs. So if Ottawa didn't offer it, if Vegas didn't ask for it, who's it on? The NHL then. In listening to you say all this, how is the NHL not saying, okay, you got a contract you guys filed with a 10-team no trade list. You got a, It yeah. says he has to submit to you by July 1st. We're going to need that paperwork whenever that's submitted. You know, should there not be league-wide oversight of no movement and no trades? I think there's somebody in the office that probably – needs to answer a few questions but this is the way it works somewhere just eating a donut going oh boy is that me and this is uh central registry that's got their shorts in a knot right now because everybody's everybody's embarrassed yeah except ottawa ottawa's laughing right now they should be a little embarrassed no no i don't want nothing nothing on ottawa ottawa senators you are free and clear in my opinion i'm still undecided no no, no, no. They did nothing wrong. Okay. If you don't want to look for a list, if you didn't ask for it. If first I of buy all, the house from Ottawa and they don't tell me that the water heater is about to explode, yeah. I'm going to be like, hey, yeah. was, was it not incumbent on you to no. like get me the info on this? No, no, no. There's as is. <laughs> the house 
was sold as is. Yeah. You didn't want an inspection. You didn't ask for it. It's on you. That's the way Ottawa is going to look at this. In our metaphor, you're right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now, yeah. when you trade a player that has a list and teams are not included, the player has to sign off on that. Mm -hmm. You cannot trade a player unless he signs off on it. Yeah. But... They traded him anyway. Right. Right? So so now... So they just didn't think he they, had one, though. Or didn't think Anaheim was on it. Or I only have two choices. Vegas didn't know. Which is best case scenario in terms of hoping people are acting in the best interests. Or they knew. And they're scummy. And they just try to do it anyway. Yeah. Those are the only two choices. Got it. Vegas hasn't exactly done right by their players, though. You know, like the amount of people they've brought in with bright promises that they've immediately shipped out in the next year or two. It is interesting. And I feel for Dodonov through all this, who, you know, now his choices are go somewhere he expressly did not want to go or stay somewhere he is expressly not wanted. You know, like he can't win now. We're going to stay with a team that didn't want you to be there. And I imagine, Kipper, and I'm making assumptions here, but I imagine this came down to taxes. If you're making a, a, an ex exempt list, like California is the highest taxes in the U.S. 12.3%. And Nevada is a zero. Zero. So off $5 million, no. we're talking about half a million or no. oh, a what? Six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half. That's the swing for him or sorry? That's, that's his salary next year, cash. Yeah. So you're taking 10% to $620,000. 12.3. sorry. Right? Oh, yeah. So his, there you go. his cap hits $5 million, but the cash that he's owned, six point five. Yeah. And you want to know why people uh, have no trade lists and put California? Yeah. That's the top of the list. He's not go he doesn't want to go over there and hand him over, over $600,000. No. No, absolutely not. Trade me somewhere in Florida. Trade me to Texas. I don't care. Just don't trade me to Anaheim. So or Canada. This, <laughs> this, con this contract, uh, this trade has to be... Void, null and void. And so now Vegas, how are they going to operate if that's null and void? And this is on their books. How are they going to dress a hockey team? I'll, I'll give you one more before we even get into that. Okay. I talked to two different clubs and they are infuriated right now that they don't know last night. Anaheim played Minnesota, or I'm sorry, Vegas played Minnesota mm -hmm. and lost. But last night, who had property of Dandenov? I don't know. No idea. Well, Vegas so under Vegas, cap yeah. compliance last night? Right. Yeah, if Dandenov's a part of their healthy roster, maybe they weren't. Did they play illegally last night, Vegas? Did they Were they over the cap? Where's Dandenov right now? Is he a member of Vegas or is he a member of Anaheim? Where's, the, where's his cap hit last night? He exists. Every dollar counts for every team right now. Yeah. There are, there are teams, the difference between making the playoffs, not making the playoffs, seeding, home dates. Vegas on a back-to-back -back there in Winnipeg tonight. So what's their salary cap situation for tonight? What kind of hockey team can they dress tonight? That's right. League better figure it out. If I'm the Jets, I'm going, Eichel can't play. They can't fit him under the cap. You got to think moving Dandenov was to find a way to get Mark Stone back in the lineup or Martinez. Yeah, Martinez is it's all, almost direct comparable cap hit wise, and I think he's pretty close to healthy. Oilers, pretty good game against Colorado, but only get the one point, not the two. Think they're watching carefully on Vegas on Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Actually Winnipeg might be like, I don't know. We don't care who plays with the Oilers. Be like, we do. Yes. We care who they dress. What would, what would a kind of a punishment be for that? If who are we punishing? If they, but if the, no, if the Vegas Golden Knights played a game last night when they weren't cap compliant, what kind of, is it? Draft I don't pick know. Is it draft pick? I is don't it, know. Points? I don't know. It's weird. 
It is a funny thing that it's like, you have happened? to be under this salary cap, but what if we're not? And it's like, ah, we'll worry about that later. That's a great question. I don't know. Is it a fine, a slap in the wrist, a draft pick? Again. It can't be money or teams would do it. If it I was just, money, teams would like, well, just go over them. So what happens because, because the central registry does not have the list, you just trust the team, the teams, or the team – in this case, Vegas, when they were trading him from Ottawa mm -hmm. to say, uh, we're, not, we're not on uh, his no trade list, so uh, he's free and clear to come to us. So first, my first thought is that's a bad system. But how did it go from Vegas to Anaheim? And isn't there something about like no move clauses don't always travel with the contract, like there's some complications here. I'm there, there's different there's different language for different clauses. 